So today we're looking at a heat sink that is, is, I guess you'd call it a niche product. It's kind of very specific. It's a low profile, specifically stock at AM4 cooler from Noxua. And it's the NH-L9A-AM4 CPU cooler. And essentially, it's it's kind of like a very niche product, right? It's specifically for the socket aim for processor. It's also specifically for a low profile setup, right? So it's it's very very slim. It's very very low, and we're gonna take a look at it. So what you get in the box, as as with all Noxua products, you get all of this really cool stuff. They really make you feel good about buying their product, even though this one isn't really that expensive. $34, I think. Not terrible, but not the cheapest thing in the world. In the box, you get uh, these, all these fancy bits and a cool packing material. You get the classic brown on brown fan, which is, you know, it's a Noxua thing. I don't necessarily care for it, but that's neither here nor there. The CPU cooler itself is quite beefy. It feels really like heavy. So there's, there's a lot of thermal mass there, if you will, for dissipating heat, which is always a good thing. And overall, the cooler is so, so thin. Um, I believe 56 millimeters is about as thick as it is. Uh, thereabouts. It definitely fits in pretty much any mini ITX build that I've seen. So what you get in the box, you get some thermal paste from Noctua. It's a massive tube. Like this is seriously like you could reinstall this cooler several times. And then of course we have these fancy looking little uh, standoffs for the back plate mounting. You get uh, a very very weighty Noctua case badge. It's like metal and thick. It's like the weirdest thing that you would put effort into making super quality but it's definitely like very extra for seemingly no reason then you get all these little bits uh they're like fan speed controls they're, they're essentially like a volt undervolting the fan so you use that as a, a way to undervolt the fan a bit and now look look at this profile look at this profile of the cpu cooler you can tell it's made really well but look how thin it is it's just so thin it's it's bonkers and Honestly, like, you couldn't really ask for a better a better setup for what I'm doing with this. It's just, it's super slim. The back plate is really beefy, um, almost more beefy than it probably needs to be for holding a motherboard fan that's so small, but here we are, <laughs> once again, super extra. And then, of course, you get the standard mount mounting bolts and stuff like that. Um, so the second part of this video is just us taking a look at installing it. And the install procedure is pretty simple. Uh, first and foremost, you gotta take off the stock AM2, or AM4, AM2, geez, look, listen to me. You gotta take off the stock AM4 brackets for that hold on a heat sink. Um, some of the newer AM4 motherboards don't even come with this because the newest AM4 derivatives, like the Ryzen series, they come with this push pin style heat sink similar to like the old, well, similar to how Intel has done it forever on their stock OEM coolers. But if you have this, you need to take this off. You need to take the back plate off. So you can see here, I'm removing those. So with this cooler though, the, the bolts thread through. So what you end up having to do is you end up actually having to install the heat sink on the top. Just kind of set it on there with the, with the thermal paste. And then you effectively line up the holes. This is the easiest way to do it by far. You effectively line up the holes very carefully with the motherboard upside down on a piece of foam or something like that. And then you put the back plate on and then you bolt it through the back. And this is the easiest way I found to do it. I messed around with it for a while, but this, this is definitely what you want to try to do. Otherwise, it's really difficult to line up the back plate, line up the front, and screw it in from the back. So definitely just do it upside down. It feels really weird. I don't really know that it's going to be super easy for you to do this if the motherboard's installed in the case, but if you can kind of balance it or figure out a way to sort of string up the heat sink a bit to hold it in place while you get a one or two screws through the back, um, that, that might help. I kind of wish that the back plate was more like the stock AMD ones that had sort of a sleeve that goes through the motherboard and holds it in place a bit, but you know, for what it is, it's it's ultra slim, right? So you just have to make that mounting 
attachment, super, super slim. Once you've got the four bolts on, you can flip it over and you can see in this particular installation, look how thin it is. Like look at, it just barely even comes over the heat sink for the, for the motherboard itself. So for this particular unit, this is perfect. And I suggest anybody who is looking for a heat sink to do this kind of job, check out this product. It's great. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.